Dear students, we have introduced software engineering as a discipline that we want to engineer the softwares. So let's see what is the software life cycle. So it's the most fundamental concept of software engineering that how the life cycle will evolve and will go from which of the stages in the software. So broadly speaking, we have software development and then we use that software and maintain that software. So this is a loop over here. And this loop is getting a feedback from the development as well and the customer as well. So customer is using that product and that product is being maintained. So here we should also understand the difference between maintenance and repair. So in all of the other engineering sciences, we term the maintenance as repair. So for example, the devices or construction buildings or construction material, they become obsolete or they become out of order by time. So after some time, you need to repaint your house. After some time, you need to change tapes of your washrooms you need to change sink etc so all of the products have their life however in software if software is built properly and it do not have any bug or any problem then we do not need to repair that software it will remain keep on running unless there is a bug or there is a problem so this means we term this kind of statement or this kind of philosophy as software maintenance because in maintenance, we are more focused to identify the bugs, to take the feedback from the customer, and then we are trying to maintain that software according to new needs, according to new environment, and whatever the requirements which come time to time. So, when software is moved into maintenance field, so there are different scenarios. For example, there are errors are discovered. So we have also learned in software verification that if you do not uh, try to identify the errors, then it can have a significant effect. So errors should be discovered properly in the software verification. However, still we have a room for errors and those can be identified and discovered afterwards. So there could be changes in software application and there could be changes done in previous modification introduce the error so previously we have changed some part of the software and that change has introduced new errors in the software so this mean what should be the process of maintenance so first of all we should really understand and study the underlying program and its documentation so normally the developer or the software engineer who engineer or develop that software is not going to maintain that software. So normally it doesn't happen. So there is another team, there are other people who are maintaining that software. So this means the software engineer should properly document all of the things and the new team or the person in charge for the maintenance field or maintenance phase, he or she should try to understand properly the software and its documentation. So if they are not properly understood, this means that there is a chances that current problem will be solved, but it can introduce new bugs, new errors, new problems in the software. So if we summarize today's module, we have learned about software lifecycle and we have mainly focused on the usage of software and maintenance and in the next modules we will try to dig in into the development process and we will see that what are the software development life cycle in detail